The scoping period for the expanded SEIS proved effective as the number of comments more than doubled that of the original SEIS, which focused primarily on the live fire training range. The expanded SEIS conducted in November not only included the now seven preliminary alternatives for the firing range, but also covered five preliminary alternatives for the main cantonment and family housing. I think that it shows that the, the nature of the concern that our people in the community have is that uh, to a great extent, we support the military relocation, but there are certain issues that need to be addressed. And with oversight in the Guam U.S. military relocation, Senator Frank Uggen Jr. thanks the community for the outpour of comments, but is not surprised by the concerns as they've been raised before. And one is real estate acquisition, the other one is environmental issues, and then others are the pro proposed location or site of some of these military facilities, in particular the firing complex, firing range complex. The report shows that many of the comments focus on the preliminary site alternatives for the live fire training range and the primary resource related concerns. For instance, comments range from the firing range's proximity to populated areas to impacts to historic or cultural sites including Paget to impacts to recreational and commercial boating, diving and fishing areas. And while individual citizens made up a majority of the comments, a variety of groups also commented, including the community advocates of the roadway, which expressed concern over the potential impact to the Guam International Roadway Park if Route 15A is selected as a preferred alternative. So those are our concerns that continue to resurface time and time again. As we reported, there are now seven preliminary alternatives for the live fire training range, including Route 15A and 15B, three alternative locations either on or adjacent to Naval Magazine with two new ones at Anderson Air Force Base's Northwest Field and NCTS Finagazan or the Northwest Field Coast of Guam. Comments on the preliminary alternatives for the main cantonment meanwhile offered a variety of individual preferences along with recommending the use of existing defense land and the use of green building and renewable energy. And with the final SEIS set to be completed next year and the record of decision projected for 2015, Senator Uggen says he hopes the island's concerns are included and strongly taken into consideration. And that the entire island community is aware of the timelines that are available out there and that we work collectively so that this whole process proceeds, you know, I don't want to say smoothly, but in a smooth manner.